Hello, my friends, and welcome back to PlayStation Livecast. We weren't just moving things no, around. No, That's not okay. at all. <laughs> pay no attention to these guys. No, actually, please pay attention to these guys. I have Herman and Matthias from Guerrilla Games. Thank you guys for coming all this way here. I'm sure the trip was not exhausting in the slightest, and you guys are totally well refreshed. No jet lag. No yes, jet lag. Yes, there's just, no jet lag at all. No. Um, so thank you guys so much. I've been excited for this segment because we are talking about Horizon Zero Dawn. I can say it. I can just talk about it. Let's all say this it. Horizon Zero Dawn. Matthias, you didn't say it at the same time. I'm disappointed. <laughs> there was some stuff moving here. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was you were like, Sorry. what do I do? What do I do? Um, so, guys, first of all, congratulations on revealing this game and all the hard work that I'm sure your team has put into it. This is coming from Guerrilla Games in Amsterdam, That's correct? That's right, yeah. Um, do, you, do you guys want to just take it and just tell us a little bit about the game first off? Yeah, start should us I up. start it up? Yes. Uh, so this is a project we have been working on for four and a half years. And it's, what? Uh, while that's, a, that's a while. We were wrapping up, after we wrapped Our up Kills on 3, the team went on to Kills on Shadowfall. Matthijs and I believe some 20 other people okay. started with the origins yeah. of what now is called Horizon Zero Dawn. And, well, you want to set it up for us, Matthijs? The world of the old um, You're like, yeah, no. So we <laughs> 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 you just go silent for the rest of the segment. <laughs> Yeah, so with a small team, we uh, we first worked on the on the concept and uh, we made prototypes, etc. And at some point, uh, the the team unfortunately even got further slimmed down because we had to ship Shadowfall. So it was it had to happen. The core yeah. skeleton crew. Uh, but then afterwards, we got the big team back, and now for a year and a half, roughly, we've been making what you see now. The that's that's incredible because the thing is, when when you saw like we saw this last night for the first time at the uh, PlayStation press conference. You see that, you immediately think like, oh, well, this game obviously had 7,000 people working on it. I yeah, mean, it looks ridiculous. One, right? <laughs> but it's like it started no. with a team of 20 doing the prototypes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's how, like, how do you even approach something on such a grand scope, but with yeah. such a small team? It is. Uh, it, it has been an extremely challenging project. This is the, <laughs> by far the biggest game that we've ever made. So um, I think starting it with Over a small time. team was actually good because we could try one out different one. things. Yeah, I think the, the tribes came at some point we'll lands. release some behind-the-scenes footage of some what we were making back then, some some prototypes. Okay. You'll see Duplo models of these robots that we have in the game. That is the kind of the the, the level of uh, detail that we could put in with a small team. Yeah. But the foundation was laid there yeah, with absolutely. that small team because we had a really good programmer, we had an animator, an artist, a couple of designers, and together we set the foundation there. He so makes it sound like it was a, a Guerrilla Games indie studio within the company, it, it right? Was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, you're so right. I, I well, realize it isn't I've, anymore. I, I, I've, I've made a critical flaw in that we haven't even like set up what the game is about yet. No. So, so let's, well, let's, let's do that. Track. Yeah. I'll re Herman, do you want to take this of one? Of course. So the foundation for this game is this beautiful, majestic world, and uh, uh, we are after an apocalypse. It's a post post apocalypse uh, world, which means that we've moved on about a thousand years after the disaster. Nature has entirely reclaimed the land. Uh, human, and that's uh, that's a twist here. Humans are no longer the dominant species. You see these machines here that now roam the lands, and they are in charge now. There's still humans that that work the lands, that uh, but they're kind of primitive, smaller tribes. And that's a juxtaposition of nature and uh, machines, uh, primitive versus gigantic uh, advanced technology that sets up all that, that tension in this world that makes it, to me, very appealing. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it's incredible because you get that great parallel between sort of humanity has regressed and then almost the technology has kind of also regressed to like a prehistoric state as well. I mean, they're very reptilian and these, these the machine designs are just yeah. incredible. Well, the I mean. technology is highly advanced, but the tribes in this world, they they don't necessarily know where it came from, so right? So, so they've it's never from known, their perception, except yeah. they've never been in a world where the machines weren't there. And so the different tribes, the way they deal with that technology, that some become hunters, Others look at different ways of, of, of surviving this world with these ferocious machines in it. That's amazing. And so then during the press conference last night, we kind of saw a sneak of gameplay. So Matthias, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what we saw was kind of, is I don't know if she is the main character, if this was just a snapshot, uh, but she, she was she's yeah. the main character. Aloy, her main name is Aloy. Her name is Aloy, and she's the main character, yeah. Perfect. She, she is a machine hunter, so she's, uh, she's quite young, around 20 years old. She's grown up in a tribe, and she's, she has learned to hunt. She's probably one of the best hunters of her tribe. Okay. And uh, 
Because he's a very agile character as well. Because these machines are fast, they're high tech, they yeah. have very deadly weapons as well. So he does whatever he can to survive. So agility is a big part. But the other big part is that she has to be really clever. So this game, there's a lot of strategy involved in terms of uh, finding out how you defeat these monsters, how you defeat these uh, machines. A and so th oh yeah, that's, go ahead. that's important for the character as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you, you fight these machines, you get the elements from them, the resources, and you get to craft uh, new weapons and ammo and tools and those kind of things. I'm like, I'm pretty much sold already, so I mean, <laughs> now I don't know how much you guys can talk about it, so feel free to like kick me in the mouth sure. if, I, if I ask too much. This was pantomime and kicking yeah. in the mouth. Um, but what, how is the gameplay flow going to be presented in terms of like, are you always going to kind of have these large open spaces? Are we going to kind of go from big space to big space? Is it open world? Is it kind of more, uh, you know, restrictive in the sense of story progression? Like, how do you guys define yeah. that? So in the broadest terms, we would say it's an open world action RPG. Okay. So it is, in principle, it's a seamless open world. Uh, and in that world, it's, it's almost like what you see here in this, in this movie. It's almost like there's an arena, and we'll have a lot of these kind mm -hmm. of spaces. Mm -hmm. But the world in itself is seamless. Sure. And uh, I'm not going to say how many, but we have a large variety of these machines in the game. I, do, I don't want to <laughs> say. I won't even ask. <laughs> so they go from small, like the watches you see with right, the little eye. Right, at the beginning, eye. yeah. The cute, adorable little thing. They go all the way up thing. to the big yes. ones, like the, the, the tall, necks, tall necks you see in the distance, and then everything in between. The long necks, mind you. Right? We yeah. change, the, change the names every week. So. <laughs> no, long next. No, you, are you yeah. saying you don't have everything finalized already we're for the oh, show? We're, we're free alpha, yeah. so. Yeah. And, and that it looks that good. So that's one of the things we got to just talk about real quick, is that you're, you know, you're saying this is running on PS4, it's pre-alpha, and you guys have already made it look so good. And well, I mean, and Guerrilla Games is kind of famous for their you know, technical and visual prowess, and I feel like that's no exception here. And, and Th that is our thing. We've always attempted to make benchmark sort of visually appealing games for PlayStation platforms. And here, because it's, it's an open world game, we don't want to go back. We want to go forward in, in terms of graphics. And the Challenge requirements on, on, on memory and, and, and GPU is so much tougher in a game like this. Uh, so we have been pushing our tech guys and our artists to the max. It's been, it's been a long, long journey yeah, getting you're here. You're just like, oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's true. He's tired. <laughs> <laughs> just slowly just falls asleep lack. during the segment. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, what is, so, what it, what is that like for you then, kind of is, uh, it, starting from scratch and going forward? Well, it's, it, it, was, it has been really good for us that we first made a, a launch title with Shadowfall that made uh, an engine, that we made an engine. So when we were prototyping with the skeleton crew, it was just still on PlayStation 3. We were using um, even kills on three assets. Uh, just those to kind patch of things, things just together to and see together. how it looks, yeah. So once uh, Shadowfall shipped and we moved over, we actually had a PlayStation 4 engine. A and very mature one, when you started. <laughs> it's yeah. not quite indie within Guerrilla Games, is it? <laughs> no. And then, of course, we had to look into streaming. And that took a lot of effort to set that up properly, especially with this amount of detail and content yeah. and the robots and everything in it. Uh, but we have it running. And from here, we're going to build it like, further up. That's it. Look, it's running. <laughs> <laughs> So what made you guys want to tell this kind of story? Like, where does this sort of narrative come from? Oh, we, um, I mean, th there are a lot of big themes in here. You see a big theme that's you know, discussed in society is the autonomy of drones, of, of robotics. Uh, that's a big thing and that we're, we're, we're toying with that in this game. Uh, another big theme, uh, theme is life after us. What yeah. happens to our planet if you take humans out of the equation? Uh, so there's a lot of, you know, obviously there's a lot of combat in this game, but I feel that we're, we're able in this setup to, uh, to add a whole lot of different layers uh, to this game. Yeah, and, and that makes it super exciting right. for us, for the team to work on this game. I'm also like, anytime I see a post-apocalypse, or in your case, a post-post-apocalypse. Post, <laughs> two posts. Two posts, post times two apocalypse. Yeah. I just like, I get jazzed up. Like it's so, it's exciting to see how different people interpret sort of what happens after, uh, yeah. you know? And I think that's like such a great thing, especially for a video game when you can live it, you can experience it. Um, now, one of the things that we talked about a little earlier, one little key phrase, RPG was mentioned. RPG. Now, I don't know how much you can share, but anything you can tell me about why you chose that word, because that happens to be one of my favorite, uh, favorite expressions in gaming. Sure. Um, well, 
why don't you call out a few things that we're showing here? We yeah, can't mention yeah. everything well, yet. But one, one quite obvious thing is that uh, we hunt these machines for the resources. So you hunt these small ones so you can fight the bigger and bigger ones. Absolutely. What do you do with the resources? Actually, you craft you stuff together. So awesome. the crafting yeah. is a key component of that core loop, uh, which is one of the RPG elements that we have. Awesome. But we also have, uh, in, this, in this demo, it's mostly uh, a combat scenario. But there's a story wrapping around all of this stuff. Sure, so sure, of course. There's quests in the game as well. A lot of quests. Excited. And Dropping the quest word. You did. You just word. talked about <laughs> quests. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But uh, yeah, and there's a lot more. That's fantastic, yeah. man. So na now I have to ask, and you can both speak to it, but you were on our stage last night. And I, uh, how does it feel to be working on something for so long, right, uh, in secret, and then to just Boom, in a moment, in like less than a minute, it is revealed to this massive amount of people. And by the way, we can talk about this later, but to great success, might I add, because everybody was flipping out online about this game. Can you give me the snapshot of what that's yeah, like for you guys? Yeah. I think it's, uh, it's, it's a relief to finally be able to share. Uh, and that's for the guys, you know, you can hardly speak to your family about what you do for a yeah. living, right? It's really, really difficult. You can't really have any guests over at the studio because you know, 90% oh, yeah. of our studio is behind the uh, sort of the public area walls that right. you know, people enter the development floors. Uh, and that's, that's just really, so th there's relief. Uh, last night it was just exhilarating that the way that, that, that Sony PlayStation had set up that show with those screens was just magical. I was just, yeah. uh, people asked, are you nervous? I was just, how excited can you be? And then be, be between all these other fantastic games, yeah. it was exhilarating. It's you the were term a little nervous used. though, right? Of course, okay. yeah. <laughs> I'm still nervous. <laughs> Not as much as for this interview okay, though. Okay, yeah. good. It's a little more low key, yeah, I hope. Maybe. Ma Matthias, how about Not you much. though, as someone that's been so close to the project? Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's a little bit the same. Uh, my brothers, my two brothers, uh, I couldn't tell them what I was working on oh, for four and a half years. That is and it gets, that's quite, it gets really weird at some point because it's such an exciting project to work on and there's a lot of uh, cool stuff that they like as well, but I couldn't say anything. So yesterday when we, uh, when we had it in the press conference, uh, I got texts from them as well, as how happy they were with what uh. they saw. But I, during, the, during the video, I got goosebumps like five times seeing just, my own stuff. Just your own stuff. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> so I mean, it must be so special. There's really nothing like it, especially with the way the industry is able to celebrate the developers. So, you know, I was talking about it earlier with uh, the guys for Black Ops uh, 3. It's sure. just like celebrating those moments, all yeah. that hard work leading up to it, you know, yeah. and then you guys get to it. So I think we're almost out of time. Okay. But I do want to ask you guys if you have any sort of final thoughts or like how you're looking ahead to the future for this game and what you guys expect coming down the line for Horizon on PS4. I, I think the, 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 the title Horizon Zero Dawn says it. It's a new horizon for us, for the studio. Uh, we're hoping to Ooh. build this into a you, fantastic you franchise. That. I actually, it. I did it. This is all <laughs> spontaneous. Oh my gosh! You're, the I dawn of a muse. new era. How I is know. that? <laughs> How about you, Matthias? Uh, I think <coughs> you, the, what you've seen now is not the tip of the iceberg. It's a little bit of the foot of the iceberg. So there's so much more stuff that we're gonna reveal and show, uh, stuff that we're still working on. So I'm really looking forward to share. Uh, in the future. Awesome. All we the should, other cool we stuff. should go back and make more. <laughs> yeah. Just, right. You know what? That, that, so that's fine. Perfect, uh, perfect reason for us to wrap this interview. Stone cold. Well, thank you so much, Herman. Thank you so much, Matthias. I'm so glad you guys Thanks could be here. Thanks for having us. PlayStation.